Hi everyone, it's Shannon aka QB Crossing. I hope you are having a wonderful new year so far. I'm so excited that we are in 2023 and I'm so excited to be back with another Dream Island tour today. So this island, I've been really excited to tour. I love this creator's aesthetic. It is so inspiring. And this is actually a cozy town core island inspired by a quiet autumn in the English countryside, which I just think sounds amazing already. So let's just get right into it. Okay, so here we are. This island looks amazing already. I'm really getting that whole autumn aesthetic with all of the oranges here and their flag is super cute also. I'm also loving that we can already see a villager house in the distance. But first things first, let's take a look at this island map. So this is the Island of Lamplight by Crossing with Liz. I highly recommend giving them a follow. I will have it all in the description as well as on the screen for their handles on Instagram and Twitter. Twitter. They make great custom codes and just amazing islands. And the dream address is also on the screen and in the description if you want to visit this island for yourself. But this map looks so good. It looks so organized. I love a town core island and I love seeing the dirt pathing on the map. I think it looks so good. We have two resident reps here. The creator did say that both houses are decorated. So I think we will check them out. Um, at least these two um, houses are decorated, Liss and Pumpkin. These two, I don't believe they are, but lots of cute villagers here as well they definitely feel like they fit this island so without further ado let's just actually start walking around here so i also want to note that the time of day that this island is set at is just so calming i definitely feel just at ease being on this island. It feels so relaxing. And look at this, oh my gosh. I am already in love with this whole aesthetic. I love the way that they're decorating in the front on these more natural areas, like the little pieces of like weeds on the floor and even the way that they're using the in-game pathing. It looks so good against that really gorgeous custom code that they have for that brick path. I love this and I always love when creators start off their island just like into a neighborhood. I think it feels really homey. I love that we have these two villager houses here and that they all have a very similar aesthetic. So a lot of browns, beiges, and like warm colors here for autumn. So this looks to be a bakery of sorts. And then we have really cute little seating areas. I always get really inspired by this creator's use of items. They just always have like that perfect kind of vintage grandma core feel to them. And I just, it always inspires me to like use different items or look at the like combinations of items that they're using. So hopefully it does the same for you guys today as we walk through this island. But it's just the perfect town. I love the way that they're sectioning out these little divider areas. It just feels so realistic and just such a delight to walk through, honestly. Also, these little like leaf piles, they definitely add a lot. When you have a lot of custom pathing coming through an island, it's really hard to like not have the like natural elements to rely on, like flowers and things like that. So I think that dropping in some of these leaf piles is a really great idea to just, you know, fill in some spaces a little bit more. So resident services is actually right here. I'm going to put up some of the creator's custom codes. They do have custom codes that they have at this like creator portal here. And you can also grab just their creator code. They always have amazing, amazing codes that they make, like I said before. So you may want to download some for yourself, but let's just get back here on this path and let's see this looks so good i love the little decoy ducks honestly one of the best items in the game if not just like the best item <laughs> and we have our able sisters over here of course lots of cute clothes out here in front of ables and then even some little shoes and a little stall over here to do some extra shopping i am a big fan of this little setup and even the fencing that they're using i've never seen the like iron and stone fence look quite as good as i have today Day. So honestly, kudos to Liz. I think I'm going to continue to the left side over here because I just want to see what else we have since we're already so far to the left of the island. So, okay, this looks so good. I even really like that they have this like very natural little garden right here since we have so much of this like very full path throughout the island these little moments of the grass coming through are really really nice 
and then over here you can even like access this little beach area and there's a little picnic for us again with just the cutest little items out on here oh i think that this is actually the peninsula and this just looks like such a like cozy little place to kind of sit by the water we have a lighthouse and then also we have some books over here so maybe a little spot for a picnic so let's see coming over here we actually have a couple of these yachts as well and i think that just throwing some yachts on your beach is a great filler idea i'm sure that's not what they were doing here but for me i always think about how to fill up my island and putting those yachts on the beach they just work honestly where else would you put them right and they just make a really nice background too so when you're over here getting that little like bit of the yacht in the background just again adds to that realism of this island so over here we have a little bit of a plant shop oh my gosh is that marty i haven't seen him in so long he's so cute i feel like when the sanrio like villagers came out everyone was obsessed and then for some reason we all just forgot about him and i never see him on anyone's island so we had to say hi to him <laughs> let's see up here oh they're so good at these neighborhood builds i mean this to me is just absolute animal crossing perfection like what oh my gosh i am obsessed look at the water behind this house and even that incline to the right they just are so so talented every time i see that Liz has like dropped a new island. I literally have to reach out to her right away and ask if we can tour because I always know it's going to be amazing and just provide so much inspiration. So let's see, look at that little bridge in the background too. I'm gonna open up my camera. This is so, so good. I mean, I'm not surprised, but look at how much you can see from this view. We're seeing two bridges in the back and then two inclines over to our right. So much dimension and just so much like, I don't know, it just feels so real. There's so many different levels to this island, which I think always really, really makes or breaks an island. So let's see, look at this little spot to just sit and kind of eat, maybe like have a little like family dinner out here. And you have such a nice view of these houses in the background. I really love just how creative she's getting with these smaller spaces too. I've never really seen someone just create a little kind of small, like second level for a little dinner area or something like that. So over here, you're just some more details around this villager house. They even have a little garden and then some books in front. So maybe it's a little bit of a bookstore. I really love just like how this is coming together. I think before we go to the right, let's go down this incline and see what else is to the left of the island. And then we'll make our way over there. Oh my gosh, this is just town core dreams. Of course you need symmetry, right? On a town core island, but it's still so natural. It still feels so organic and it doesn't feel too stiff. It just feels very real, which as we all know, I love a realistic island and this is definitely doing that. Also, all of the panels that they have in the back there, from this view, it just looks like fully, we have like a ton of like houses behind there, which is such a smart way to use those panels. Of course, we don't have that many buildings to use in the game. So doing these like illusion buildings or faux buildings is really, really nice on an island like this. So let's see, we're gonna continue over across this bridge and just see what's going on on this side of the beach lots of cute little just like places to sit with this picnic area and then over here we have again more places to kind of sit and eat just has this whole kind of cozy aesthetic going on even in these small areas of the island which is really really hard to do in my opinion making these small spaces can sometimes be the hardest parts of creating an island so over this bridge here let's see what this little like back of the island looks like so it looks like we have lots of different shops and again we see like all these buildings in the background here so little places like coffee shops little stalls places to sit like this whole kind of street market feel which i think works really really well for this island and let's come over here so it looks like maybe a little bit of thrifting or a bookstore also just looks so so good I'm gonna come up this incline now and see what we have this way because I believe this was the little like land bridge that I didn't exactly go over. So I wanted to make sure that we could see what this looks like because it looks really stunning over here. 
Um, let's see, I'm gonna actually like walk this way and look at this view first because what is going on? This is, <laughs> I keep feeling like I'm so amazed by all of these views. This is such a beautiful build here. Look at these little boats and then even the fish. Oh my gosh, the fish. <laughs> the ducks in the water, they just look so perfect. We have this whole kind of canal area. And of course, it definitely has that like English countryside feel, which I think that they've just totally nailed. I, I don't think that this is a very easy theme to pull off. It's kind of specific. So I'm really just impressed by the way that they've pulled this whole theme together. It's so different. It's so unique, but it still has so many elements and like aesthetic, I guess, like things that we like from a lot of other like just natural islands. So they just did a really, really great job all throughout. So coming back here, we do have another villager house over by the back of the island. And I think it looks really nice, like just back behind these two inclines here. Oops, I always do that. Okay, <laughs> let's get up here and check out the backside over here. Look at this path that they're using. They were using this in the canal also, but it looks so good as just a little like courtyard filler like item or area in between here, having all of this water and then just like little seating areas around it a little place to feed the ducks and then even that we have this little like tourist telescope and you can look out at all of the water in the back of the island it just looks so amazing i have no other words but to say that this island is honestly amazing is i guess it's a bit of an understatement so let's follow through back here because i do want to check out those houses that are up on the second level i Think there must be a way to get to them okay so i just quickly came back here because i wanted to see if we could actually look at these houses so you can kind of get through to these houses over here from behind this little courtyard area where the ducks were i think that these houses are blocked off because both of the reps are still here just like walking around so i think that they're more here for a like background view and really to like fill in those like kind of city views or, or skyline views that we're getting from that little canal area but just wanted to let you guys know that you cannot get in these houses but you can still kind of see them and they work really great as those like filler background buildings okay so let's get back on track here and see what else we've missed I know we have a lot of like the middle and the right side of the island to still check out and I'm really excited because everywhere we go I feel like I keep on getting surprised and excited because I just love every single build. So I just walked through this little arch over here and we have a stunning cute little park area. I love the waterfall being used here as well as just the little like baby carriage. It's such a great vintage item. It's like look at this the way that they do their pathing it's really really beautiful and it just is not overdone there's just the right amount of items in every section and i love that this is kind of like blocked off by trees because it feels really contained and just helps with the overall composition in my opinion okay so we saw this part of the island i don't know let's go down this incline now and just make our way over to the right side of the island wow okay so we just landed in this like sea of wheat fields this is amazing and this looks to be like more of a like farmy countryside spot on the island maybe this is just where we do some laundry do some i don't know like diy projects i really really like this little like shed feel over here this farmy feel and the sea of wheat fields i think is my new favorite thing i have never seen someone do something like this I've seen like smaller, I guess, sections of wheat fields, but this is so cool and it's actually just so fun to walk through. So really like this idea. Maybe instead of like doing a filler lake area, you can do a like filler wheat field, wheat sea area. It's really, really nice. And then, oh my gosh, look at this little road. Okay, this is the like most perfect little countryside build over here. Oh yeah, so this is a wheat farm, right? Because we have the wheat sign right here all right i get it <laughs> and then coming over here it looks like this is an extension to the farm so whoever lives here probably takes care of this farm this is their business and they have lots of cute little pumpkins out here even look at that pumpkin flag i need to zoom in on that because it's just so cute oh my god i love it so much 
it's so cute <laughs> those little flags i always forget about them but they're just such great items especially using them like in little areas like this these little details really really make or you know just add to your island so much so let's go in this house because i know that the creator said the other two resident rep houses are fully decorated oh my gosh look at this it is of course just so cozy i definitely have just that whole cottage core vintage aesthetic like going on so well here this is so so good i mean it just feels so warm and welcoming i really like that we have so many little details here from like the shoes on the ground or the book on the tray table even all of the like hanging wall items they just really have such a beautiful mix of so many different things that again with their builds everything always feels very lived in which i think is really hard to pull off and that's what makes so many of the islands that we tour on this channel so interesting to look at and this is definitely one of those amazing amazing builds oh of course again i would not expect anything else but just pure beauty from this creator this is so so just again with the coziness i mean who wouldn't want to be here sitting by the fire having a cup of tea this is really like a dream bedroom here especially for all my cottage core friends out there i know that everyone is going to just love these interiors and i think it's really hard to get interior inspiration in the game i technically well not technically but i seem to only like design exteriors so if i see an island like this where i'm just loving the overall aesthetic of and i think that the interiors will be kind of unique and different i will tour them and that's why we're touring them today but i definitely am glad that we toured these interiors because i i feel like i'm getting a lot of interior inspiration okay so back out on the island now um it looks like they also have this fencing kind of surrounding the farm area which i think helps a lot to just bring in the entire area and i really like the like code that they're using on that cutout sandy to look like a door definitely fits the whole farmy vibe and i just think it works really really well so let's see i'm going to continue back here because i know that there is again this little door cut out and i want to see what's going on in this more like natural part of the island so we have this really beautiful diagonal bridge and then this actually leads to another villager house i actually feel like so so inspired right now just by this overall composition and every little area on their island just fits so perfectly i can't explain it but everything flows so well and every area is more amazing than the next and i think that's so hard especially as you're designing an island i know for me sometimes i have areas that i like more than others but honestly every area on this island is just so well done and this leads over to the secret beach so a little place to take out your boat i really just love the simplicity of that so if we go over here to the left of the house it did see this incline so i just want to see what's up here but this looks to be just a little place for this villager to kind of sit relax and just hang out within like the woods which is just so so wonderful i feel like who wouldn't want this i mean you could even just like have a little picnic out here and it just feels so relaxing by the water i really love all of these little like areas that they've thought of that i haven't really seen before just great ideas for filler spots also so okay let's come up this way i think we saw everything to the back right of the island so we're gonna go through this arch over here and it looks like we have entered another neighborhood which of course i'm excited about because i love <laughs> this creator's neighborhood so much so we have some little houses over here with signs and i just want to like orient myself a little bit to where we were um okay so I'm, I'm gonna wait to go over there because i see another one of the villager houses which we will go in but we're gonna just finish off the right side and wrap back around so okay it looks like we have a cafe over here so one of the villagers probably owns this little cafe and lots of little like like food items all throughout i love when we can really like make use of all the new food items i think that they always just add again a little bit of that realistic element to our islands which is really important 
and then we have this really cute little street over here lined with some books as well as like the phone booth just really pulling everything together so beautifully I'm gonna go up here first before we go down because it looks like the museum is up here and they actually made the museum look so good actually the colors of the museum fit in autumn island really well so i guess if you're doing an autumn island or have this kind of warm color scheme you're in luck because i know for a lot of us that museum is really hard to work with but i will show how it looks from the front also as we come around here just so we can see just the full picture of it we have a little Brewster's coffee stand, which of course looks so good. And then I just wanna show, let's see what the museum looks like from up here, because I'm sure it's gonna be really pretty. It looks really, really good. I love this view right here, even Maple in it. She's so cute, but it just is, actually fits in with this aesthetic and this theme more than I think I've ever seen the museum fit on anyone's island. So love that for them. <laughs> let's come up here because we missed a little bit just up front so we have a few more of the villager houses over here and I really like the way that they are kind of mixing this dirt code with this brick code here this is actually a different brick code that we haven't seen on the island so I like that some of these areas are feeling just a little bit different from other areas but still of course really cohesive with the entire island and somehow this is just a really aesthetic graveyard because we now know the creator can do it all because even the the graveyard is so aesthetic <laughs> actually the flowers on those tombstones are really really pretty i never really noticed them until i've been staring right now at this but maybe i need to get some tombstones on my island for all the villagers that i've let leave they can actually you know that's where <laughs> that's where they live now in my heart i guess Okay, so over here, looks like we have a full boardwalk area. I really love this because again, it's not like super structured. It definitely feels kind of like overgrown, a little bit natural because we have some of these like weeds surrounding as well as these more like scattered stones. So I just love the way that they decorate. I think they do a really nice job of having everything feel intentional but also really natural and organic. And I think that that is really, really hard to do. Like I've said before with a lot of the other things on this island, even the simple pier, it just works really, really well. So many little details on this beach. This is my favorite type of beach, just like scattered little flowers and like custom codes, little picnic blankets. I think that that is my favorite way to decorate any sort of beaches in this game not sure if okay yeah so this kind of like cuts us off here so we'll wrap back around and we're just gonna like make our way to the middle and front of the island and see what we haven't i guess seen yet so okay up here this is this whole canal area i definitely saw this on their map so i kind of want to start from the beginning up here but i remember in the beginning of animal crossing like 2020 when it first came out we were all obsessed with canal areas and i don't know what happened but i have not seen as many of them and i don't know why because look at how stunning this is the symmetry just the bit of water mixed in there it just adds so much life to this this area i i think whenever you can add in some waterscaping it's a win um because we get a little bit of movement in here but it's just such a beautiful layout i feel like you cannot go wrong with a canal and it's such a nice transition area so we'll really walk through here a little bit um we have some different stalls over on the sides like little cafes and bakeries little places to sit and then we have of course the bridges in between here which then lead us back here to in front of that next resident rep house which we will go in so looking over here i just love like the items that they've chosen the pies fit in really good with again this entire aesthetic it just has that whole warm cozy feel throughout they really just of course nailed the overall theme they were going for so let's see what's going on in this house behind the canal. Okay, how charming is this? I mean, this feels really royal. I definitely see the difference between the house that was more by the farm area. So that was more like countryside. And this one feels a little bit more like someone a little bit richer, maybe on the island, maybe more of, I don't know, like royalty here. I'm just like 
thinking out loud i don't really know who lives here but i love the two different aesthetics that we're getting in these but they still of course feel like they belong on this island it has that very cozy vintage it also has that sort of i don't know like autumn feel to it just because of the colors that are coming through here and it does feel very much what like what i would expect for a english autumn island and so many cute little seating areas i also just want to note that this layout in general i i don't think i've ever seen an interior laid out like this and i'm a really big fan of it i really like that we have this kind of like entryway that then leads us to more of these seating areas it feels like a library oh maybe this is a library i feel like a light bulb just went off in my head like maybe this isn't a house because it is kind of near this whole like canal street market area i don't know let's go to the room on the left and see if there's anything in there okay so in the room to the left it looks to be an extension of that first uh kind of main room that we were in lots of different places to sit like books scattered around so it definitely still has a bit of a bookstore or library feel and different places to write it just overall feels very very cozy i mean i would personally love to come hang out here or just like spend a day here okay so we are now in the upstairs area i've come to think that this is definitely a library because look at all the bookshelves that we have here this definitely feels like this room maybe is like off limits or like for vips only it looks like we even have some art in here so it just feels even more fancy than the rest of of the spaces and i really like how they've sectioned off and even with this like rope fencing over here that just feels like i don't know it feels really beautiful i love it also the spider webs it definitely adds that whole like kind of this has been here for a while it feels a little bit like i don't know maybe it's a historic place of some sort so down here in the basement we actually have a little cafe restaurant type of thing down here a little bakery and I just think that they've really mastered the aesthetic that they have throughout this island and this whole house in general it just feels so cohesive it really feels so different than anything i've really seen someone make in the game before and i always think that's so interesting when i tour these islands that every time i tour an island we're using the same items but the way that we use them and the way that we combine them with other items or the way that it just comes together feels so different and that's what makes this game i think so so special but anyway i just feel like this whole aesthetic is so spot on and this just feels like somewhere i've been before okay so we are back on the main island now and let's see we're going to continue to the left i think we've seen um the right side of the island so we're really going to make our way back towards resident services but i know we've missed a couple of things along the way so let's see what's up here looks like they've even decorated their beaches pretty much fully i know that they're a little bit more natural the beaches but there's no part of the beach that it doesn't at least have like some custom codes and weeds on it and this over here is a really cute little dock again it just feels so so homey and charming all throughout here so continuing back up this way let's see what we have over here this looks to be a little outdoor cafe we have a menu sign over here and then just really cute little food items all throughout these tables i really like that little setup there with the garden chairs also okay so up this way okay that's where we came in for the entrance so i just want to see what is back here because i don't know if we came through this way yet and i don't actually think we did so over here we have more of these like street little markets so this is if we were to go to the right of resident services and this curved uh brick pathing that they're using is so good i need to see if the creator still has it up on their creator code because i believe another creator that i toured was using this and some people were saying they couldn't find it so i'll definitely check that out um, and see if if the code is still available but it works so well on this island and this autumn island in general and then we have a train station or like remnants of what used to be a train station here that works really well with this entire like island theme i think it, it kind of just goes with this whole vintage feel and then back here we have what looks to be like a little walkway over here i don't know if you can actually get through here which i like that they made it not accessible because you can still see what it's what it is is all of these different 
kind of like street markets all throughout there because we're seeing the pie and then like the coffee um, grinder as well as like a little to-go box so I like that they really made a little like illusion here within those arches so I did see that you can go through these pergolas I'm not sure if this is just like another way to kind of access okay so maybe we weren't actually supposed to go through there but you can go underneath the, those pergolas like I did if you'd like so all right we're going to just continue back up here a little bit i just want to take another look at like this whole little courtyard area i think they just did such a nice job with like the benches and how they filled in spaces between this path and now we are back at resident services so i think we have seen everything on this island i feel like this island is definitely just going to be so inspiring for so many of us i know myself included this was such a great island to start off the new year with and let me know what you guys want to see in the comments i'd love to hear from you guys let me know what you thought about this island and i will see you guys next time bye mm -hmm.